So here we have our character and we're going to create a sequencer and put some animation on him. So right mouse button, level sequence. And I call them LS underscore, and then we'll call this Raggy. And now we've got our level sequence. And at the moment it's blank. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is set my playback rate to 24 frames per second, because I'm doing motion pictures. And now we've got our character and we've got a sequencer. So I'm going to drag the character into here. So it defaults to adding the control rig, which is fantastic. So you can uh, grab bits, so you can move things, and, and you've got inverse kinematics and all sorts of stuff. But for now, what I'm going to do is delete the control rig. You, you can add this back later, and we're going to add it as a layered control rig. Ooh, that's, a, that's your hook for later on. Okay, so I'm just going to select that control rig and delete it. So there's our character, and we're going to give him some animation. So we go to animation, hit the plus there, and there's some nice ones for jog. So type jog, and then we're going to go for jog, unarmed, forward. Okay, so there's our animation, and then he runs out and he goes back to his default position. So this is designed to be loopable. So we press that like that, and there we go. There he is running and he's loop. And then what I'm going to do is add a transform because this is running on the spot. So we're going to transform. I'm going to go to my start frame. Then let's go and grab, press that button there to save a key. And then we'll come over to the end. And then I'm going to set another key and then see how this feels. Okay, so he's going a bit slow. So I'm going to go into the animation curves here and then move my end point over there. And then what we'll do is we'll have physics turn on during the simulation. So it'll calculate all of the inertia and all those things this character has. You go into a character and then you see you've got simulate physics and then you hit a keyframe here. And then if when I hit that, you watch in here, it'll add it into the sequencer. So now it's going to be permanently on when we press play. But it's on right from the beginning before we've even moved him to that position. So what you need to do is have it off to begin with. So let's just turn it off here. So now when I press play, you see, it's not going to work until it's turned on here in the sequencer. So if I go backwards a frame, it's using that last keyframe. It's all animation. And at this point, physics comes on. And the nice thing is it's smart enough to know the inertia of the animation. So if I hit play now, he should go, it should go forward. And it's taking all of that weight and inertia and all those things, which is brilliant.